Before we get started here, one of you on the Discord said to try and find a way up here in the tutorial, which appears to be completely revamped yet again. Sorry. 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 Yeah, boop. And hit yeah, boop. <laughs> Honestly, glad I spent the time. <laughs> I love those traps for the curious. Oh, and hey, solar game mode. Permanent bad sun at day and avoid them at night. Survive as long as you can. That is so cool. And we get an ambiance mode. Just like infinite, but random events and special places are disabled and has no scary signals as well. Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Voices of the Void. And I'm not gonna lie here, I agonized over whether I should actually do, well, a, a season two of this series. Because I thought, yeah, maybe some things might have changed, but for the most part, I'm gonna be going through a lot of the same stuff, a lot of the same events. I already know what a lot of them are, and how's it going to be? Am I going to do this for every new update that comes out? But then I thought to myself, well, uh, the game's updated while I was playing before, and it's not usual for there to be a total overhaul of this magnitude. This base actually offers such a change of scenery that it actually radically alters the way I've been playing it, and so I think for the time being... It is worth doing this, because such a big part of the game, really, doesn't live in the events, but rather how we experience them. So even experiencing the same things in different ways could be interesting, and I'm sure there will be plenty of surprises along the way. But we can't do any of that until we uh, get all this stuff processed up and get some new signals to continue about our day. What I think I like the most about this update is that changing the base really does change the way the entire game is played. It makes the safety bubble less, well, safe. But it also gives you more opportunity to do what you will with it. More opportunity to make more rooms your own. More opportunity to, I guess, decorate it or give them utility. And it's really playing into the game's strengths. While people are torn whether they like this one or the other one better, you can't deny that the other one was much more of a safety bubble. I mean, there was really no consequence to keeping the lights on all the time, and really only going back and forth between the workstation and your bed, and the garage when you wanted to go out. With this, it's... it's much more at-home work. If we want this place to feel safe, we have to make it safe. And even once we do, there'll still be that uncertainty factor every time we're traversing from one area of the base to the other, which we just have more incentive to do now. Oh, look at that, seeing the sunrise through these slats, the bridge across the way, and the towers against the sky. <laughs> Not only does it give us more walking around at home, it gives us more views of the base around us. More interaction, I guess, with the dark that surrounds the base. And that's so valuable because we're not always looking in one direction, it's more directions to be attacked from, and more behind our backspace to be paranoid about. But once we rise and shine, I think it would be a good idea to explore the base itself a bit more. And so to do that, we're going to see who all is in need of repairs. Lima, Victor, X-Ray. Oh god, a whole bunch of them are down. Lima, Victor, X-Ray, and Sierra. Okay, we're going to make a day out of this. You are taking forever. Lima, X-Ray, Victor, Sierra. Okay, we'll do Victor, X-Ray, Lima. refuel up the ATV and this is actually quite an excellent opportunity because it's kind of going to bring us to all corners of the base giving us the opportunity to explore what's new 
Away we go. It's always a great thing when you have the luxury of being able to come out here in the morning, you know? All the time in the world to mess around knowing that your main things are already ready. Oh wait, uh, hang on. I should probably... I should probably make a, a list of all the other towers I need while we're at it, right? So let's hold this. Uh, report Whiskey November Oscar. Is it just me, or is the bird ambiance actually greatly improved? Look, we can see the we can see the pines bristling in the breeze. I don't know if it was this good before. But you are down. Eight minus six is two. Nine plus eight, uh, seventeen. And so now that's done. And the cool thing here that I've noticed over time is that the way you plan things actually changes the way you experience the game too. I mean, in this case, because we're ahead on our work, we have the luxury of being able to come out here in the morning and do all of our outdoorsy stuff during this time, making it a relaxing experience that contrasts with the much more, like, panicked existence back at our base. I mean, navigating down those dark hallways, investigating noises in the night, being real worried about that basement that sits right below our feet at any given time. And that we actually, now I realize, we have to go down there if the power goes out to reset the breaker. But if we do things differently, we actually have to come out here at night because we just don't have any time to waste. We don't have the luxury of doing things when we want. And so if you end up in that situation, it can actually make the time you spend back in your workspace, in your safety bubble, feel that much more safe by comparison. I think if you ask 20 different people, you'd get 20 different answers as to what the difference is between in there and out here. Uh, but here is our next stop. And it should be X-Ray, yes. You know, I find things get a little bit weird out here in these like remote corners of the base. If we're going to be out here anyway, if we're going to be zigzagging across the landscape, maybe we would do well to have a look around some more. For example, why is this door open? Okay, well, that's a little bit strange. One advantage you see towards taking the forests instead of the roads is that, A, you save a lot of time by going in a straight line. But you also get to see the stuff that they don't really... Not that they don't want you to see, but that you wouldn't normally see. Uh, uh, and while we're in the neighborhood, maybe we'll also go for this transformer. I don't know if we've reset this one yet. And who knows? We're starting to run low on fuel, so maybe we can find some here. There we are. You're like the only normal one of the bunch. Sadly, no fuel, though, unless I've already gotten it. No, no, I think we've probably been here before. Is that free candy? Sure looks like free candy. Ooh, we even got some sleep out of it. And because we're going to be hurting for tools, I will have that hammer. Thank you very much. Take anything I can get at this early game. In fact, we can even start collecting some of this trash to add to our collection to be sold. This game is just like that. You always want to be multitasking. Efficiency is key, and <laughs> being a good worker isn't about obedience to the company. It's about being able to buy yourself some awesome stuff. Hello. Okay, yes, I do know where we are. little remote shack that no one told me was on the property. A little remote shack. Surrounded by bones. Well, obviously we'll try and get in. Yep. Ooh, a burger. Burger, burger, burger. And a mysterious red tree that doesn't grow anywhere else in this forest, right in the center. And if I remember correctly, there are things to be found within. Oh, and I believe this is also where we get, wait, we can't collect. This is also where we get a shovel. Oh, there we are. 
and you, sir, are coming with me as well. Yep. Just grab the pull-up bar, conveniently placed where this hole in the ceiling is. And we'll start experimenting with some black magic in the very near future. Or maybe we'll just use it as a desk ornament for now, I don't know. The paths are infinite. Yeah, this door's open as well. Maybe they just don't close anymore on their own? I don't know. SV hash. And next stop is going to be November. Now we're at November and... Uh, is the sun actually setting already? Wow, we have spent the entire day out here. And crazy how, <laughs> how quick it goes by when you're relaxed. The nights just seem to drag on forever. But unlike with other games, that never feels like a bad thing, you know? So we did manage to complete all of our hash code tasks for the day. I'm gonna leave it at two out of four servers repaired, uh, because we should be good enough by now, and I don't really have the fuel to meet everything else yet. Yeah, 18%. We're gonna burn a lot of that just getting back. But this is our domain, this is our kingdom. Season 2, baby! I'll never get used to driving back and seeing this. Well, actually, I suppose the whole point of the game is that at a certain point I will get used to it, just like I got used to the other one. It's so easy to forget now how much I struggled with it early on. But your services are no longer required, and you can rest for the night. I always come to feel... Well, I guess I always humanize my tools in a game like this. Uh, which is to say nothing of the tools we will be very much humanizing, uh, but we'll get to them when we come to them. Until then, let's check and see how the signal is coming. Ooh, it looks like we're getting back just in time for a bit of a haze to fall over the place. But you are finished, uh, and that means we can grab this drive and start to save you and process you up. Save signal. And you, oh right, we haven't bought the module that causes you to automatically do all this yet. Sooner or later, we're gonna get an upgrade that basically causes this to go all the way through from level one to three on its own, but we do not have that yet. There are so many upgrades we need to buy before we can even start thinking of anything else, but I think the very first thing I'm gonna do when we get the money, of course, because the price has gone up, is get ourselves a hook. A hook is a simple device, but I think it's honestly one of the most consequential tools you can possibly buy in the game. And of course, the first thing is we're going to get that free vent food. Ooh, and speaking of free food, <laughs> I love the look of my shadow like that when I... Ah, <laughs> oh, I look like a gooba. While we're at it, let's one more time. We gotta repair these servers. So you guys are fixed. We will we'll ping one more time just to see who's still down. Uh, yeah, we didn't get Lima, which we probably could have gotten on the way back, or Sierra, but everything else is fixed. So what we can do now is SD Cal all. Those servers being all down is definitely the reason why our downloads were so slow. And this is the other one. They lose precision over time, and every once in a while we need to calibrate them so that they can get back to full efficiency. I would imagine, since we're several days in and haven't done this, that they're all pretty out of whack. But this should start slowly going up with time. Er, well, once these things actually find their target... There we go. I must say, we're actually making excellent progress already, and, you know, one interesting thing about this Season 2 is going to be seeing just how differently things go when you have this sort of lead, this sort of experience to put you on top of things right from the very beginning instead of having to learn by doing. Although, it has been a lot of fun learning by doing. 
At this rate, we fixed so many servers today, we're gonna get all the way to that hook even without sending anything out, but send things out we shall. Uh, provided this thing actually finishes processing in time, I should have been doing this all day. You know what? I'm actually gonna upgrade the processing speed right now for the biggest return. Uh, simply because the earlier we do it, the better off we're gonna be. And we're gonna get a big infusion of points if we can send this stuff out on time. I can hear that rattling in the walls again. The sun is setting. My relaxed mood is gradually shifting. What a great time to remind ourselves of the artifact we brought back home today. Made a weird sound when it hit the floor. And I can't think of a better space for it than right here above the computer monitor. I mean, it'll show all the guys that come to check this place out that I've conquered the wilderness, right? Or better yet, no, I have an even better idea. Let's actually conquer the wilderness by pointing it outward. Now, anytime anybody wants to come peek in here while I've got my lights on... Oop, I guess it doesn't like that. I was going to say, they'll just see this thing peeking out from over the computer. There we go. Hang on, wait. I want to see what that looks like from outside. There's so many things I want to do. I also want to document everything, of course. So one of my priorities is going to be to buy a digital camera so that we can take all the photographs we like. Not to mention, document our findings. Yep, there we go. Now where the Wendigo? But this place is giving me the creeps. Let's go. Oh, there is a camera out here. All right. Hang on. Wait, can we can we grab it down like before? Oh, we can activate it. There we go. It, it should be it should be like a crappy level one camera. Are we locking you open? No. OK, good. So it probably won't be of much use. But now that we've done that, we can head over to our computer and see what it sees. Hang on. Which, as it turns out, is not very much. It's got a night vision mode, but it is so garbled as to be basically useless. I'm thinking we should actually probably sell it and put it towards something else. You're ready to go. Uh, which means I'm going to take this opportunity to get a little bit of shut-eye. Do you see what I mean about how nerve-wracking the walk through the base is every time? <laughs> that shadow dancing in front of us as we climb the stairs? I have a feeling that's the kind of thing that I'm simply never going to get used to. Mm. The bathroom. And sleep. Oh, right. We've also got to get Orthalder from, uh, which you told me is how it's pronounced, from the, uh, from the suitcase. But I don't want to spend too much time up here because I don't want to overshoot midnight. All right. I use grab you. I have no idea what <laughs> I have no idea what the use of toilet paper is in this game, but we'll grab our degree as well. So far, the only room we've cleaned up is our workspace, and it's the only thing I'm currently proud of. I'm turning these things off as I go because I'm really worried about the Transformers going out in the middle of the night, and they do always seem to go out in the middle of the night. Uh, but with only a couple of hours to go, yes, we will grab you, check our email to make absolutely sure that our order will be fulfilled. Oh, it was only one signal level three. What am I worried about? I was worried for nothing. Okay, so we already listened to this. This will be what we send out. Uh, where's our box? Now tear you off, drop you there. Uh, I just realized a new efficiency thing. If I write you in the book instead of on individual notes, we'll always have a, f a free space where it'll drop you on the ground and I don't have to worry about finding you in my inventory. All right, drone, get over here. Unless, of course, okay, okay, the thing didn't reset again. I keep forgetting that that's a new mechanic. You know, even though Melvin's gone, I still sometimes feel eyes on me from that booth. This game just fills you with weird paranoias, doesn't it?
in the meantime, why don't we take this other one that we completed and give it a listen? Kind of sounds like breathy vocalizations, but I suppose in an industry like this, what you really want is actually rhythmic, consistent things. Or not necessarily what you want, but it raises the least concern. It makes it more likely that it's some kind of natural phenomenon and not some attempt at communication. And with two hours to go, that, uh, that drone should make it back to base in time. While we're at it, I have simply got piles and piles of trash that will have to be sent out. But I really have to praise the ability to combine this stuff and sell it because it gives you more of an incentive to take on the absolutely daunting task of cleaning the base. Oh, speaking of cleaning the base... Some of you guys actually gave me some advice. It was true in previous versions. I was trying to be immersive. But maybe we'll try it out this way. So if we take the sponge and drop it on the ground and put it in the water, uh, now we just gotta find some dirt to use it on. Ah, that actually is a lot faster. <laughs> if we do it like physically instead of in our hand, that's kinda cool. Some of you said that it doesn't last as long, but that the speed more than makes up for it. Uh, where, where, where should we put this thing? There's not really an open space here. But maybe if we can fit it right over there. <laughs> you know what? Good enough. If anything, it obscures another 1% of our view to the horrors outside. Although, the fireflies are looking mighty pretty tonight. I, I do hope that the Wendigo stare keeps the forces of evil at bay. Since I'm certainly not going to be the one to do it. There's that noise again. And we're having more problems with this thing. We've got so many upgrades we want. Very interesting. The sounds of space are fascinating. Gotta release the papers as soon as possible. Well done, pal. Alright, glad to see I'm already getting some recognition around here. And we get 30 points for the signals themselves and a whole bunch of bonuses for the other stuff. Should only be about 20 minutes now until our new job comes in. Sounds like it's coming from out there. Another one of these servers has gone down. Hang on. Against my better judgment, I'm going to go outside and have a look. From here, it sounds like it's coming from inside. I don't think it's these things. Hang on, something really, really strange is going on here. And I just had the horrifying thought as I was stepping through this door. Imagine if I turn up missing and the last footage of me is me, oddly enough, just walking out into the night on that grainy security camera. Completely unexplained. It sounds like it's coming from behind the basement wall. That is so bizarre. Maybe I should have a look. Maybe I should have a look upstairs. There really is nothing upstairs. Maybe what I need is to get onto the roof. The whole thing feels like a wild goose chase, but I don't know what else to do about it. A whole bunch of mushrooms growing up here, which I will happily help myself to. Ooh, there's even a burger. It definitely sounds like it may be coming from here, but oh, where's our drone friend? There you are. 
There we go. Bring me my goodies for the day, and please, please, please take me with you at some point. But I still... I still haven't discovered the source of that noise. It doesn't seem to be moving, but it's so hard to tell. No? This is absolutely bizarre, and the weird thing is... The weirdest part of all this is that it only seems to come at night. I don't know what to make of it, but I can't spend too much time on it. It's just one of those things for now. And how cool is it in a game like this that there's such a thing as just one of those things? Just those little quirks that you can't quite explain, but there's nothing you can do, and it doesn't seem to be hurting you. So you just kind of have to let it ride. Eventually you look back and realize you're nowhere near the scaredy cat you were at the start, perhaps even quite brave. And yet there's always room for something new to come and disrupt the whole order you built for yourself. But you know what? I'm not worried because I have a degree. And I have ultimate job security because who else is going to do this? Our daily task is going to be two signals of level three, which we're already about to get. And we've got to go to Uniform, India, and what was it? Kilo. Uh, so let's plan our route for the day. Uniform, India, Kilo. Okay, so that's no problem at all. In the meantime, we are, of course, going to order ourselves a hook. And we are going to order ourselves some food to keep us going. And in this case, I'm just going to go for it. And grab myself a shrimps pack. We've got to eat it quickly, though. Now let's look, have a look at uh, some of our other upgrades we can get. So we're obviously going to want... I'm thinking two more to download speed. Two more to processing speed. And what's left? We can take two more to sensor speed. Or, wait, we can get a whole bunch more sensor speed. I want all of that. And what that's going to allow is faster scanning on this thing, no longer is it so agonizingly slow. And we can afford to leave that where it is for now, because that's actually, <laughs> that's extremely fast compared to what we had before. All I know is I should get some sleep, and I'll deal with it in the morning. Which is a valuable attitude to have in this line of work, in my opinion. These faded murals. They remind you of what the dream for this place was. Makes you wonder what happened. Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen to it. Me. Rise and shine and ooh. And I just noticed there's a window up above the kitchen. I just love the way the sky glows orange in the morning. And you know, there's a weird... There's a weird feeling I associate with not seeing the mannequins here anymore. Of course, how do I know for sure that they ever left? I never checked all of these lockers. Well, I guess we're okay for now. Point is, I have got a schedule for this morning. Uh, all of our signals, as usual, should be already completed. However, uh, the towers are another matter cannot determine location, uh, the, the radar went out again during the night. Well, I'll tell you what, after eating my breakfast, I uh, will go out there and fix it, and then we'll head off towards all of our new towers for the day. I've really got to learn why this actually happens. It's one new feature that I have no experience with, and is deeply confusing to me. Maybe it's just something we have to worry about every once in a while. Either way, it can be deeply inconvenient. Wow! Now, you know, looking down at the base from above, it does actually become immediately clear just how cool this thing actually looks. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's evil looking, but it's my evil base. And look, there's a tree in front of it, so how bad can it be? I mean, Saruman didn't have that, and he actually kind of made a point of not doing that. 
And here comes the drone with our delivery from last night. And the, the, the shrimp is highly, we'll say, perishable. So we're definitely going to want that to come with us right now. As for the shovel, uh, we don't really need it, so we'll just drop it here as a tool. This morning's adventure has us heading out towards uniform. But I, I really do have to find that other transformer because I think it's probably going to start to be going down soon. I hate getting caught on stuff like this. There they are. There they are indeed. Oh, it's like someone came in the night and just dumped them all right there. What I don't understand is why there. All right, well, let's get this hash code and we'll investigate further. The others I can dismiss as a prank, but what are you doing up there, buddy? You know what, now might actually be a good time to employ our new tool. Yep, come on. Yep, there we go. I got you, buddy. So that means we're good, right? Right? Okay, well, you guys, you guys just chill right here. In fact, how cool would it be if we had just you know, a little guardian, a little guardian for the towers? And by which I mean something to scare the crap out of the co-workers who think they're pulling one over on me. Let's just put you someplace highly visible. Uh, actually, the best place for that would probably be right at the edge of the stairs right here. You want to be able to get that silhouette when people are driving past. The kind of thing that makes them turn their heads and go, wait, is somebody supposed to be out here? Yep. But we've got more towers to get. Yep. Sorry. There's another one over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, you guys are actually scattered all over. In fact, you're right outside yesterday's mysterious cabin. The mysterious cabin which I took things from, so we'll bear that in mind. Wait. My mind is playing tricks on me. Because I saw a tree trunk through all the other tree trunks, and I could have sworn it was a mannequin standing there. It kind of whipped around. I think I've already grown accustomed to weirdness. And I'm anticipating it around every corner. It's actually more unnerving when it doesn't happen most of the time. Hmm. Taking a little bit of a detour here, because I'm pretty sure I'm close to the only Transformer I've not yet visited. And it's got to be running fairly low by now. Should be out in these woods somewhere. Wow, what is happening with those power lines? It's actually proving to be a bit further out than I thought, but here we are. And that's light post seemingly remaining on at all times. You are quite low indeed, so it's a good thing we decided to come out here. We're also going to want all of the tools we can carry, and all the rubber, and all the metal, really anything we can sell. Oh, hey, burger. Oh, these things are everywhere. I can't believe there's only 21 in the entire game. We're running into them so frequently. But I guess they're at all the major points of interest. Anyway, we're doing still all right on fuel, enough that I think we can hit another one of the damaged ones. Uh, but our next stop, Kilo, is going to be really the last of our work for the day. It's so refreshing to have the time to really enjoy yourself. Mm, that is a big log. Hang on, can we... Anything to investigate here? No. I think I encountered this thing in the previous version. And I was very surprised to find nothing inside, so I'm always going to check between versions to see if anything's been done. Seems inevitable at some point. Ooh. There's that rifle in the corner. 
object can't be held, can't be collected, and grabbing it causes it to be duplicated. <laughs> you know, in previous versions of the game, trying to take this thing resulted in it exploding into splinters. Now, now something else and very strange is happening. Uh, okay, guys, we're getting that trademark Voices of the Void weirdness. Experimental, very experimental. Yep. <laughs> oh, please don't patch this. Here we go. I am a lord of war now. I'm an arms manufacturer. But we've fixed this, and all should be good in the hood. Actually, wait. Something I had forgotten is that a disabled tower uh, will prevent it from moving further down the line and completing calibration. So if we do cal all now, that'll solve a lot of our issues. And now I just kind of want to go home and nap. Sweet home. And let's close this off. Although I do kind of like having it open in a way. I mean, it's so big and it's got such a nice view. It's almost like the good version of the big bay window. And not that I didn't enjoy that as well. We have so much more litter we picked up. The old rifle. A gun with one bullet. <laughs> well, what about many guns with one bullet? Or one man with six guns? Either way, we are definitely exploiting that. You know, I've just realized that this thing has the opposite effect from behind. I arrived to find a pair of antlers sitting studiously at my computer chair. But you appear to be finished, which means we can add yet another one to the pile. And by now, we should actually have another signal to listen to as well, shall not we? Uh, still some more processing to do, but uh, that'll be done a lot more quickly now than it would have in the past. We are running dangerously low on pizza, by which I, of course, mean we're out. And before, I tried to have a constant rotation where there was always at least some. But I hear that banging sound in the walls has not ceased. Maybe it is just the sound of these things, but I kind of don't think so. There's more of that organic whatever. Oh, I found it! Okay, I don't know how you manage that, but yep. Yep. Hang on. Yep. We'll get you down. How did you get stuck in there? Oh, hey, a burger! Server burger, server burger, server burger! Yep. <laughs> ah. That was the best burger I've ever had. I don't know how we're getting you down, though. You seem to be stuck in there. Uh, maybe we can collect. There we go. And that is all we need, but what are you? That's weird. You seem to be like some kind of old-timey, like, hatch almost. TR Elect 5. Oh, Electric Trash? Trash? Wait, Discharge FL. Discharge? Do you carry a charge? Do we need to, like, dispose of you safely? All right, I'm gonna drop you for now. Drop the bucket. You even had water in you. That's not what I'm worried about right now. And I'm also not worried about fires, because these fire extinguishers are everywhere. And you're picking something up on the edge of the property. But I think until I get one of those portable maps, which is going to be a while from now, because it's not super high priority, we're not really going to be able to try and pursue those things. You know, things may have changed between updates. I have not actually attempted to get into the bunker yet. No? No. Do not enter. Hmm, we're probably going to need the password changer for that, then. Anything to be seen if we have a look around? Ooh, well, there is actually a slit in the back where we can see the keypad. 
There's gotta be some reason for that, right? Oh, but uh, I'm getting so far ahead of myself, by which I mean not ahead of myself at all, because it's something that I wanted to do before. We need to try and pull that MRE down from the grate. I'm... <laughs> This job, man. I, for a moment in my mind, that telescope was a gray alien staring right down at me. Alright, but yeah, what, what am I even doing here if I'm not making use of the new tools? Yeah, boop. Yeah, boop. There we go. Ow! What was that? What was even up there? There's my crowbar, I think. Wait, do I still have my crowbar? I still have my crowbar. That's a different crowbar. That's a Gordon Freeman crowbar. And that vent actually curves up into the side. Oh, it scattered all our stuff. Well, we still got a level three here. Oh man, these things have been knocked all over the place. This other one is done. What, what the heck was even up there? Actually, with this hook, I can find out. But I'll, I'll maybe save that for tonight's misadventure. In the meantime, let's give this a listen. Nothing much. Okay, so you'll go here with the others. That's enough to complete our job for the day. And I guess we just clean up. You know what I really need is a coffee machine. Because I have plenty of food, but the thing I'm always lacking in is sleep. This is actually still smoking. Which means it probably tastes great, right? You were knocked to the floor. Yeah, I, I feel like this game just loves taking everything I've done and scattering it to the wind, sometimes literally. I watched season one for several more examples of that. I don't feel so good. What do you mean, you don't feel so good? Need to kneel down over here, talk to Ralph for a while? Oh. Wow, this really doesn't feel good. What happened to me? Is it because I ate that MRE? Oh no, uh, maybe I can try to... Maybe I can try to sleep it off? Perhaps? That seems to be working. Doesn't seem to be waking me up anyway. I never checked these lockers. Okay. There's so many of them, I'm so paranoid now. Some of you guys actually said that the new base feels like a school to you. So many lockers adorning the walls, the wide, long hallways, drink machines. I don't know, I, I definitely do see it. There's a particular hallway in my old school that this sort of reminds me of. The <laughs> very pathetic attempts to liven the place up with paint. Uh, let's just worry about sending our thing out for the night, and then we'll go, go spelunking in the ceiling. Only took us a couple of days to get to that point. Uh, so what do we need? We needed two level threes, right? One and two. And we needed Uniform Indian Kilo, which we have. There's a real ominous hum in the soundtrack right now. And I'm not sure how much credence I should be paying to such things. Great, the tower's down again. Alright, let's do it once more. For a moment, all those colors there in the movement, I thought there was some strange technicolor creature crouched in the bushes. OK, 
here when you start to get that ominous red glow and the wind blowing. And now that soundtrack to join it, it makes it feel like you're crawling up down into something's throat. Like, it's so surreal and dreamlike, something that is so unprecedented in evolution that it's got such a sense of unease all its own. In the reflection of the moonlight, we can see the river passing underneath. Thankfully, we still got the light from the garage bay in the upstairs hallway to guide us. And, you know, I have to imagine the upstairs hallway would actually be quite comfy. I mean, the patter of the rain on this angled glass. Uh, what's in the way? Get out of here, you. I want a closed door and the lights on. Oh, look how the fog illuminates in our base. I love that so, so much. Making this thing even more of a beacon when the weather is bad. And it'll probably save us at some stage. I mean, I th suppose it already has. Why are we waking up? Game, why are you waking me up? get out of here. I just realized I haven't looked at that telescope yet, so that's something I've got to do in the near future. Why are you waking me up? That has me very, very suspicious. Is the front door locked? No, no, it's not. Well, it's about to be. What about the garage door? Is it closed? No, but the that big hatch in the top is sure open. Say there are no, which means spooky things are afoot. I'll be honest, I'm debating whether I should disappear myself up into the vents right now. Seven minutes to midnight, and these signals have degraded considerably. That happens in the rain, I could have predicted that. Uh, there's our stuff, we got a whole bunch of points. You did a very good job, and the data is clear, and here's our new things, which we will quite easily be able to achieve. Hello? Hello? Why can't you seem to... There we go. I am deeply concerned right now. Deeply concerned, what was that? Wendigo, I hope you're keeping watch. The fireflies low to the ground kind of start to look like eyes in a moment like this. Drone, do you see anything? You're my eyes in the sky. You've got that night vision. It was right on the path over there. Actually, I believe one of the bridges is over that way. But I just can't see anything out there. It was just beyond the stri the light. You know what? And forget the forget the rifle cuz I don't have much faith in that. Call me brave, call me stupid. I'm gonna go check it out. I have more batteries if I need them. And after all, I've proven myself immune to explosions, right? That sign will never not be ominous to me. The dot 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 on the bottom. I thought those flowers over there were red eyes. You, however, are a bit tougher to explain. That actually got me quite a lot. That restored a huge amount of hunger, didn't it? Uh, well, the glow from back there still comforts me, but was that... I 
hear something. A whole bunch of mushrooms. I can't collect them though. Wait, if I pick you up, now I can collect you. All right, well, let's take some samples of each. Wait. Oh, oh no, oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on you. Huh, is there like a, was it forming a trail? No, it's forming a ring. Maybe I should come back here with the shovel. Hang on, let's have a look at these samples we just picked up. Fungus. A mushroom from the forest. Alright, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm actually, for now, gonna drop Ortalter here. So that if none of this stuff is still here in the morning, we'll know where to look. Right in the middle. Let's make sure he's right dead in the center so that we know precisely where to dig. Oh. And I guess we'll leave it at that. It's just over here from the light post, we'll remember that. But that was seriously, seriously weird. It's like something wanted me to notice this little fairy ring. But I guess we'll close the door to any incoming fairies and see if we can maybe get just a little bit more sleep. I could really use it. In the meantime, let's uh, take this and this and drop you on the ground and store you in the fridge. I mean, uh, you're kind of big, but maybe we can do something with you later? And if not, we can perhaps sell you. I mean, some of these things could potentially be really valuable, couldn't they? But whatever woke me up, it's not waking me up anymore. But this is, I'll be honest, going to be a very, very restless night. What is that? Hang on. Uh, yep. Urine all leaking down my leg as I rush out of here. Something was making definitely a noise. Melvin, are you back? Everything looks okay. There's our midnight drop. I've got so many things in my inventory that I need to make room. It, it seems like every night in this playthrough, I'm being awoken by bumps in the night. I don't see anything outside. It's a good thing reflections aren't an issue in this game. Otherwise, that would never work. But we can grab yet another of you. Save, save, save. And you are done. Let's listen to a voice from the void. You're starting again. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that spot out again. And it seems like the more I listen for weirdness, the more the weirdness starts to come for me. In fact, I haven't even been paying attention, but we do have an unknown source signal here. So we'll begin processing. In the meantime, we've got a vent to explore. Yep. Uh, I gotta remember how to do this. All oh, right, it's the scroll wheel. Who? Yep. Uh, and there is indeed a whole ventilation system to check out. Look. 
somehow my coworkers have managed to get a huge amount of trash even up here. I, I still have no idea what all was on top of this vent cover. But we are learning more and more about this base by the day. Oh, there's... Ooh. This place is quite roach infested, but... That's a bone. And a chair indicating I might have found somebody's previous hiding spot. Previous hiding spot where they had all kinds of... Ooh, metal trash. Look. They even left a note. Hang on. Arm is busy. 2311. Taking a note for whoever reading this. Saw that one figure standing next to the concrete pole. Couldn't get a good look. My eyes were blurry from the lack of sleep. Maybe hallucination? Who knows? Keep your eye on this. Update 840. Came out investigating the place. Saw footprints at the exact same place where the figure was last night. Update 1709. I do not feel safe here. I want to leave. You weren't just an exceptionally lazy employee with a cool hangout spot. You were hiding. And I guess you never came out. But I can't get this thing to open. I'll listen to that echo. My ears are rattling. There is so much more going on here than I thought. And it kind of makes me wonder, is it related to what we saw and heard out there last night? Either way, this is going to suck. Ow. Oh, my ankles. And we're definitely going to need a new battery in a second, but... Oh, man. Ev everywhere I look, we start to get hints of the people who once occupied my very same post. People who we... I guess have so much in common with, but who we'll never get to meet. And imagine the difference it might make if we did. Anything out there? Oh, I should have checked the radar last night. All that business last night just has me wondering what I would do if the lights went out, so... Call me paranoid, I'm gonna do another transformer check. Uh, all still looks pretty good. TR2 could maybe use topping off. Sierra, Bravo, and Foxtrot are down. Uh, let's see what we need for the day. Uh, report, Uniform, Charlie, Mike. So what we'll do is we'll start with Mike, Bravo, Charlie, Sierra, Uniform. And that should be good. Do you hear that? Oh wait, maybe that was... Hmm, I don't know if I've ever done that before. That might have actually been the sound of those huge towers grinding into place. I've never taken off this early after setting them on a target. That's really interesting. Something that was probably always in the game, but somehow I just never discovered. Alright, but we're starting off with Mike. We've got a lot of points to hit today. And we are already actually quite tired. Uh, we do have a snack in the form of kitty treats. I mean shrimp. Oh, and we actually maxed out our hunger real quickly. Sierra dealt with, and yeah, and here's where that deep valley is. And I find that riding down here, where you can't normally see, uh, tends to reveal some stuff sometimes. Uh, I'm still convinced that there's stuff I've never found here. There's a pine cone. Uh, but right here, we'll find nothing but the edge of the base. Which is often itself worth riding along. Ugh. Stick! Stick, 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 stick! I'm um, like a golden retriever, but a uh, retrieve I shall, because I spent the entire last playthrough looking for one of these things. Where did it go? Oh man. 
Yep, there it is. So, so lucky. A literal needle in a haystack. Well, not literal, but actually pretty close to literal. Alright, that is actually going to be kind of like one of our most cherished items now. The reason for that is because I believe it's used in some sort of crafting recipe. Uh, although I can't quite remember what that was, or if we ever found out what that was in the proper game. Uh, we've got to be real careful when it comes to these areas right here. I wonder if there's anything under the bridge. Some real interesting plant life, but eh, there doesn't seem to be anything. No grumpy old trolls here. Glad to see you guys still sticking around here. I was really worried that upon return to uniform, you wouldn't still be here. <laughs> and here I am falling into my own trap right away. Actually, it's only now that I'm realizing I probably should have taken a head count. But is taking a head count of the mannequin something you really want to tell your boss you're doing? Oh, you know what? It's actually now that I realize... We've got the keys to the city. I told you, the hook opens up the door to so many different things in this game. Which is why I think it's right there along with the crowbar for essential early game purchases. We can hop this fence over here. I have so much sleep to catch up on. I'm wondering if I shouldn't even invest in the coffee machine this early. But I want to see what's beyond. Yep, hang on. Yep, come on. Yep, it's got to hit just the right spot. Come on. Yep, there we go. Do I even need it? Come on now. Yep. Got to make sure we don't forget it on the fence. Oh, this is the area with the strange trees. Trees which I imagine will eventually populate the entire area. There's even a burger to be found. And wait, do we get a note? There's, I think, yes, there's a note here. Work in progress, new trees test polygon. <laughs> Take some food. It even rewards you for your trouble. Ooh, these are new. Is that a bow tie? Oh my god, it is! That's adorable! Uh, I don't know if we can actually wear it just yet. But, okay, I'll take these. Uh, we can't do anything with the burger just yet, but I'll take that as well. Ooh, we can even... There's a whole pizza. Eh, well, a single slice of a pizza. Which I want. <laughs> and we'll take that coffee as well, because it's actually kind of expensive. Yep. Yeah, we really can just kind of hop the thing. Okay, now I've got the servers calibrating, and man, I could really, really use a nap right now. And it's times like this that I am sorely tempted to buy that early coffee machine. But we've got to get ourselves upgraded first, and we've got enough points that we can definitely get a lot of upgrades. Now... In the early game of my last playthrough, I invested very early in service ability so that I wouldn't have to spend a lot of time out here. But I've been very on top of it, and I might actually leave that because we do get... I forget if it's five or ten, but I think it's five points every time we fix a server. It's basically free points every day. Always feels so great when you just smoothly roll into the bay like this. After a hard day's work. Alright, you know the drill. More download speed. And a whole bunch more... Where is it? Processing speed. And we're already, we're already at basically half the max on these things. Only a few days in. Uh, let's also get... I think sensor success rate is what we want. There we go. Now we'll be hunting around way less frequently. I wish I knew what this GPU board was for. Like, are we going to build our own computer? Anyway, a couple more of you guys. And we'll be ready to make even more money cleaning up the base. What time is it right now? Three o'clock. It's actually... You know, we've got so much done so early. That noise is very bothering me. 
There we go. <laughs> yeah, these... I, I'm really annoyed at how not working these plugs are. Actually, that's one good argument against springing for the coffee machine right now. Look at the way those shadows creep over us at night. It's like a hard transition to tell us, yep, we are moving on to the next phase. A phase which only exists in our own head, uh, but is nevertheless all too real. We've got so much filth that needs to be cleaned up around here. Problem is when I'm waving my view from side to side like this, I can't really see the progress that I'm making. Yep. But we can leave you right here, I suppose. Wow, it actually knocked another drive in here. Yep. I have a feeling we're going to be finding remnants of that explosion for quite a while. That's just the way of this game. Oh, you're finished. Uh, so actually, we can plug in this soggy drive right now. Yep. And you two are nearing completion. Oh god, wait. We actually... Hang on. Have I neglected this? Two signals level three. Yeah, no, we... Hmm. That was actually very close. I thought we had more. Thankfully, thanks to our upgrades, we'll be able to get this out in a jiff. And there's all of our upgrades coming together to make this a, a much less painful experience. I used to dread coming over here to do this, but it's so good the less time you have to live with it. You're already doing this. There we are. Now, you are typically a bit more fickle. I always love it when I can see the frequency right from the get-go, because it eliminates so much back-and-forth guesswork. There we are. And you are... Look at that. Look how quickly that's downloading. The joys of upgrades and good server maintenance. <laughs> yeah, they push it for a reason. I'm going to take the old rifle and leave it over here. It does not seem to have the same duplicative abilities as the one, well, the actual source one. But for now, I'm just kind of taking these things and little by little stuffing them in the crate. Uh, they do actually take up quite a lot of inventory space. Okay, you're done. You don't have long, so we really got to make sure that the drive gets sent out on time. Yep. Get ready to go. We need the, come on, uh, we need the book so that we can tear off the page. And you, and you. Oh, come on, we're not going to make it tonight. Ow. Uh, what just happened to me? I just reloaded so I could actually do this. Now weird stuff is happening. Why am I falling over? There's a whole bunch of things going on out there. Which condenses to one thing. Okay, this time it didn't even go down. And you are just going to be locked in place, so I guess it sees you. And now I just kind of have to pray. I'm actually curious, does shrimp have any effect on sleep? It does not. Uh, but it is one of the foods that leaves garbage behind. And there we go, it looks like we just barely made it with 20 minutes to spare. And that is another successful day, thanks to the power of save scumming. That's something. Very interesting. Uh, Alright, we've already read that message. And we've got a whole lot of points to show for it. That was fun, but yesterday we never actually got the chance, because of all those down towers, to go check on Ortalthar. Uh, that is so hard for me to pronounce the consonants like that, but uh, in any case, we'll be visiting in the morning to see if anything's changed. Oh no, I guess it wasn't. I guess it actually uh, got back much more quickly. I was reading the hour wrong. Somehow. Uh, but there is, there's other stuff I want. If I go into maybe machines, yeah, coffee machine, 200 points. That's a bit much for now. Ooh, battery charger. That could be very useful. We can buy picture frames, as expensive as you'd expect. But actually, a TV, 
We can get a plasma TV for 450. That's not what I want. We can get a much cheaper regular TV, and that'll serve our sleepover purposes just as well. Exactly midnight. And maybe it's good luck to be far away from my place at the uh, at midnight. But let's have a look and see if we can. Ooh, wait. Hang on, wait. wait. It looks like there's something moving right there. Ooh, what is that? What is that? It looks like some object which is just now beginning to experience its daylight cycle. Or the day part of the cycle, anyway. I'm having to struggle to keep eyes on it. I wonder what it is. This is actually the first time I've seen something moving in the telescope view. Granted, I haven't tried it that many times. But it sure is pretty. I guess it kind of reminds you why you'd want to do something like this, this job. And now that now that it's closer to daylight, we can actually see it so much more clearly. Ooh, there's something else there as well. Come on now. But enough of that for now. I'm so suspicious at what's going on over there. Weekly results. Uh, Dr. Kell, unfortunately your performance wasn't good enough. I cannot send you a reward this week. Try better next time. What do you mean? I've accomplished literally every task. And I didn't even know there was such a thing as weekly rewards. How does that work? All right, well, daily task. Uh, good morning, pal. Uh, here's the task for the day to level three. And Mike, Quebec, and Delta are in need of fixing or of hashing. Uh, so Mike, uh, Quebec, which is on the same side, and Delta. So a very, very easygoing day, uh, which is really good for us because it means we're going to get to catch up on sleep. In the meantime, what should we do as far as modules? I think. Uh, yeah, early on, best just to keep going download speed and, and and processing speed. What else would we do? The earlier we get the digital camera, the better, right? I mean, we're never going to want to be in a situation where we need it but don't have it. So I'm going to go ahead and place that order. I'm going to go ahead and place that order alongside, as always, a couple of more garbage bags. Uh, all seems to be clear for the moment. Uh, some of you told me the extra ping on here, the me, the ATV, and the other is the camera out front. You know, something I've kind of forgotten to mention, uh, for those of you who are joining us for the first time in this series, this game has a little bit of a thing when it comes to the time 3.33. Maybe we'll encounter some of that. Maybe there's some new things to do with it. But, I don't know, it just seems to be like this almost universal human experience, even in real life, that that number in particular seems really, really unnerving when it comes to time, and I'm not quite sure why. People seem to just almost intuitively feel it. And I'm sure now that it's talked about more, it doesn't help. Either way, stuff like that is the reason we like to keep the lights on in here, at least until I get some glow sticks and some other forms of uh, lighting that aren't quite so brutal. I mean, I do love the moodiness, but sometimes it is good to have my little fishbowl. Makes me feel a bit more safe, even if it is only for me. Wow, we are downloading so much faster than we used to. And how's your processing going? You're actually done. Hang on, uh, let's take that. And spend our 333 listening to another voice from the void. I get paid every time I say that. What a 333. 
I think the next thing we invest in is we're going to start slowly over the course of the game putting more points into detector quality. It's not a huge deal, but basically it means that this image that you see right here will eventually resolve into better and cleaner images. Actually, it can make quite a difference later on, but probably not too much in the beginning. Morning light now upon us. And I'd say we're probably just about ready to embark on our chores for the day. Man, I feel like I am just rocketing through this game this time around, but I can't help it. I can't put it down. That's the thing about this. Once you get into a groove, it is so fascinating being bored. And it takes a real talent and a real combination of elements coming together to make that work an unknown, and that is a very strange shape indeed. Oh, well, let's uh, put you in there haphazardly, and cue you up. You as well. We're gonna grab the old shovel on the way out. Uh, and what don't we need? We don't need the rifle. Uh, once again, I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, Oh, and there it is! <laughs> it's like our Amazon order arriving. We have got the digital camera. Digital camera, which allows us to take pictures of anything we see, and as far as I can tell, just store an infinite number of photographs. It's time for us to start creating our own apocalyptic log. Our log of everything we experience here, and really under the assumption that we probably won't survive it and it's all for the next person, but hey, we stand on the shoulders of giants. That's how these things work. That's how science works. Well, we've also got some duties for the day, and before we can do anything... Uh, actually, wait. Where where did we leave that guy? Because now I'm confused about the orientation. The base is so different. It would have been down this way, right? I thought it was in the direction of the bridge. Yep. Trouble is, I'm not sure quite where to look. Oh, right over here. Oh, the, wait, is this the same place? I don't even know. I don't see or told there anywhere. Okay, I grant, I suppose it is possible that one of those explosions sent all that stuff scattering to the wind, but then why didn't it the first time? I mean, I found it all in a perfect circle. A lot of that stuff is gone now. All right, that's just gonna have to get added to the list of things we need to investigate. But in the meantime, we've still got some work to do. Wow, there's a really nice early morning haze settling over the valley now. It certainly makes this a bit more spookily comfy. Exactly how I like it. But after the events of the last couple of nights, I'm not even just looking to the stars for threats, I'm looking straight out my window. The previous person saw something, and I think I just did too. Is that just an LOD thing? Is there a log in here somewhere? No, there isn't. I saw something dark. Oh, there. Okay, there it is. The thing about this game is that there's just enough actually going on that you can spend the other 95% of the time freaking yourself out. And the weather certainly doesn't help. Times like this, it's almost like the game itself is going, What are you scared of? Isn't it pretty? Well... Yes! Yes, game, it is! In fact, maybe our first picture should be a pretty picture rather than a scary one. But still... And it, it always takes one with a flash. Shouldn't make a difference here, but uh, we can go check on our computer what comes of it. You know what? I'm actually curious. I need to try this. And I can't believe I never thought of it before, assuming I didn't think of it before. Ow! That's the wrong button. If I try zooming in, right, with X, and I take a picture, I wonder if that'll actually appear zoomed in. Okay, Trash Kingdom. Give me your trash secrets. 
uh, down to 43 power. You almost haven't changed during the night. Which leads me to believe that you losing power is more of an event than a timer. Like certain things happen that cause it to go down. By the way, you've still got plenty that is of use to me. All right, I'd forgotten about this. We can actually remove the vent covers back here and get another shovel should we ever lose the use of ours or just lose it. I mean, anything that knocks us down can cause us to drop stuff and uh, those events can be quite unpredictable. I even found one in my ceiling the other night. There's you guys again all swarming over these mushrooms. But I, I just simply cannot find anything that I... Oh, there you are! Yeah, I think that's precisely what happened. I think an explosion knocked you off base, flung you off into the woods. Either that or there's something else going on here entirely. I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna have to end this part soon, but dude, I am having a blast. I had a lot of misgivings about coming back here for season two because I was like, okay, once we get over the tour of the new base, what's really left? And I have been absolutely shocked by how fresh this has felt. Not just in terms of what may or may not be new events, but just in the new perspective that a new base gives you and the new perspective that a more informed playthrough offers. I really can't recommend this game enough because even if you watch me play, I, I still think you'll have an experience that will still manage to catch you totally off guard, much like I expect Melvin to do at some point in the future. I really should start cracking open some of these crates and keeping my door locked. Uh, but to be honest, every time I look over here, all I can see is the potential for barricades if the need arises. Barricades from what? Well, if I knew, I wouldn't be paranoid. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always... I will see you in the next one.